Hi, and welcome back to the Mr. Brad Warden Show. And I'm not, unfortunately, I'm not going to be eating anything tonight. This is just kind of an update video. It's a uh, really late night and got work tomorrow, so I didn't really want to roast myself at this point, which I could have, but do I want to? <clears throat> well, anyway, this is the Ed Curry experience bar which i have on hand but like i said i'm not eating tonight um it is one half pound of dark chocolate bar that's what it says now i'm interested to see if this is truly dark dark chocolate i'm gonna be nervous if it's like dark chocolate like some of the other chocolates i'm not gonna be so nervous because the level of dark chocolateness wasn't that bad but, however, the X in here is for the Pepper X, the world's hottest pepper, or proclaimed hottest pepper. It's still debated whether Carolina Reaper or Pepper X is, really. This bar is made from Willy Pete's Chocolates on the back, and Willy Pete's Chocolates is the company that makes the Nemesis and Chili Cherry Nightmare and the other hottest chocolate bars on the face of the planet so i'm assuming with pepper x and coming from woolly pete's chocolates that this bar is going to be one of the hottest bars kind of challenging the nemesis bar and chili cherry nightmare for maybe the hottest i haven't watched anybody eat this bar yet i don't really want to because generally when i do my challenges i don't like to watch people do it ahead of time i want to experience it for myself and not have any preconceptions about what, how hot it is and i do that with a lot of them don't really watch other people do it first just wanna i don't know how many people have done this bar it is from a pucker buck company i think you can maybe get at Willie pete's chocolates too because they make it and pucker buck company that's ed curry um so this bar, I didn't really get into it yet, had it sit in my closet for a while now. And you're like, well, Mr. Brad Warren, why didn't you eat it? If you are newer to the show, back uh, shortly after I got to 200 subscribers, I said, we took a vote. What should I eat when I hit 300 subscribers? Because I take a fan base vote. And whatever fans want me to do, every 100 milestone as I go through my channel. And I'm super close to 300. When I checked earlier today, it was 292, eight away. Last time when we were getting close to 200, something happened called the subscriber war. And it was crazy. Like my subscribers would go up like three or four or five every day and then down like three or four or five and then up three or four or five and then down three or four or five. And then when people really wanted me to get there, all of a sudden it just shot up like 20 in one day and I was stuck doing it and I was shocked. So I am eight away. I'm wondering if there'll be another subscriber or people who don't want me to suffer and people who want me to suffer. So I'm not sure what'll happen or how many days out this'll be. I know subscribers have been picking up a little bit lately. It was like kind of staying pretty still, but now it's kind of picking up again. So I have no idea. Could be tomorrow, could be one week, could be two weeks. Nobody really knows, but once it hits that 300, I'm going to have to do this, and it doesn't matter what day it is. Um, I'm going to have to dig into it. So, um, again, this is, says it's dark chocolate. It says twice, quality dark chocolate, and down at the bottom, one half pound dark chocolate bar. And I, as you know, if you have not seen the earlier show from my other 100 episodes, I do not like dark chocolate. And on top of dark chocolate, this is probably one of the hottest chocolate bars in the world. So I don't know if this is truly dark, dark chocolate. I don't know. I'm going to suffer and I may not be able to get through it. So um, we'll have to see. We'll have to see what the future brings and when I'll be eating this. I'm assuming eventually, but who knows when. But we'll see you next time on the Mr. Brad Warden Show.